Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Monday morning, afternoon, uh, coffee slash beer hour with FTL. Not that I need anything to make my hands any shakier than they already are, speaking of coffee specifically, as a result of the uh, really excellent run that we had last time where things maybe didn't go exactly as I planned. Now, you might be saying you unlocked the third layout of the Zoltan Cruiser, why don't you use it? Reason is, we start with only two reactor power, and it's a real, real pain in the dick to actually use the Serenkov here. Um, because you start with two reactor power, not even enough to power up either your charge ion or your beam drone. So you have to use your extra crew member as like a, a mobile reactor, essentially. Or your extra two crew members as a mobile reactor. It's very dangerous. Um, and I'm not very good at it. Maybe we'll try making a run with the, uh, the Federation cruiser here. And I just want to remind myself of what is happening in this. Um, we have two different weapons rooms. One of the weapons rooms is uh, a standard burst laser Mark II. It shoots uh, three shots. We are very familiar with it. The other one is a... Um, well, we'll just mouse over it here. Artillery beam. Powers a slow, high-powered beam that pierces all shields and does one damage per room hit. More power means faster cooldown. That's awesome. Uh, and we also have a very varied set of crew members here. So we're going to name this the um, Cultural... Mosaic, which I think is a great name for a ship. We have Atreyu, Ares, Monsvik, and Bomfy M. That's okay. I have high hopes for this, even though I don't think I've ever done uh, good with the, uh, the Federation Cruiser. Done well, sorry. Didn't you used to be an English teacher, Northern Lion? Yeah, okay, you got me. This is, uh, this is kind of ideal for power right now. Our reactor is fine. We start with 10 scrap. We're playing on normal just because I don't want to get acclimated to easy and then find normal, like, basically impossible, you know? Okay, you recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you uh, laborers for cheap. We're going to attack the slaver scum rather than just leaving. And the reason behind this is because I think it would be awesome for us. I'm just going to save my layout. Uh, I think it would be awesome for us to be able to get another crew member here. And that is one possible outcome of the, uh, the slavers. Our shields are completely down. But that's okay because their weapons are completely down. So Rockman is a super slow... Oh, sorry, that's NG. I was going to say Rockman is a super slow repairer. And that would be correct, but... Um, we actually don't need to worry about that because this is an NG. He should have the shields back up and running before they can get their weapons back up and running. And their shields are completely out anyway, so no harm, no foul. Hopefully we'll get something out of this. It's kind of weird to get back into the mindset of, um, you know, having to be vulnerable right from the very beginning. Obviously it's uh, very dangerous for us to, uh, to take damage because it stacks up. Whereas on the Zoltan ship, we didn't take damage very often. And we didn't really take it consistently until like Sector 7 or 8, so... They actually did manage to get a shot in there. I didn't realize that one of their weapons was charging. That's fine, though. So, 19 scrap. How much does it cost to charge this up? I mean, it seems like it would be really smart to get this to, like, literally 40% of the cooldown of what it currently has. Um, just so the artillery beam does more damage. And it goes through shields, which is the most important part. So I think probably the faster that we can get that artillery up, the better. But I still need to prioritize shields. I still need to prioritize engines and reactor power. Um... You look like a military vessel. We're trying to get back to our homes alive. I'm an engineer by trading to try to improve your reactor if you have any extra supplies. This is an expensive trade, but it probably gives us one reactor power. Sure, that's fine. We have no drone parts now, not that we need them. But having one reactor power is nice because, um... Actually, you know what? We're going to save our scrap for now. We're going to jump to this distress beacon. And we can skip the store on the first floor here because we don't have anything that we want to sell or be able to buy. So it's a refugee ship. We're going to have to fight them and, um... Depends what charges faster, but I would imagine that if we don't miss, we're probably pretty likely to come out of this fight ahead. The worst case scenario would be if all of their shots hit, they hit first, and they hit on our weapons. Oh, they missed. Not completely, but missed. Uh, we're just going to keep going on their weapons here. In fact, we can basically just auto-fire on their weapons, and all we really need to do is keep their weapons offline, so they can't do damage to us, and our artillery beam will make the difference in this fight if necessary. There we go. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll keep auto-firing on weapons. My mistake. And after this, we should be able to upgrade our artillery beam a little bit. I don't know if it's viable to upgrade the artillery beam all the way to max, but, uh, you know, it seems like it could be an interesting way of playing anyway, and why don't we have a little bit of a different style as a result of, uh, oh, let's go back to auto-firing on weapons. Uh, let's mix up our style uh, now that we're using a different ship. So our artillery beam is about to fire. Let's watch this bad boy do its work. That was pretty amazing. Uh, the fact that it's a beam that goes through shields is uh, a value that can't really be overstated. We got a lot of results uh, for that. That's good. All right, so we got one bar of reactor power and an extra bar of artillery. So we'll just stack that up. And I guess we can power up our med bay for now as well. Um, not that we necessarily want to, but that's okay. So we've taken 10 seconds off of the timer for our artillery beam. Should I give them four fuel? I'm going to. And they give us an updated map of the sector. 
which seems pretty nasty. Uh, four fuel is worth maybe 12 scraps, so it's not that big of a deal, but four fuel is really worth more than 12 scrap, if you want to think about it, isn't it? Uh, actually, you know what? I think we can upgrade our engine power once on this floor, yep, or on this <laughs> sector. Sorry, the Isaac parlance uh, remains persistent. That's okay. Uh, now we'll jump a little bit more. We should be able to do a few jumps to uh, combat sectors before the end of this, uh, or combat beacons before the end of the sector. We're going to aid the civilian ship and get involved in a little combat here. They have a charge laser and a beam. Charge laser is only going to shoot once, maybe? We'll see. I don't know, actually. That might not be a charge laser. That might be a chain laser. Sorry, my mistake. Um, we're going to try to land a shot on their weapons, and they're going to fire? How many shots is it, though? Okay, so they can save their charges and fire two shots. Luckily, we have a bit higher dodge chance, and that saved us a, a lot of hardship there. And basically, all we're going to do, our main focus for now, since we're going with the artillery beam so hard, is to keep enemy weapons offline long enough for the artillery beam to really, really tear up their uh, subsystems. And that, right now, it takes about 40 seconds per fight. Which is why these FTL videos end up being super long. By the way, I appreciate the, the number of people that came to me on Twitter and said, Northern Lion, please keep the episodes, like, all in one part. That makes sense. You can all divide it amongst yourselves. Keep in mind, I, I'm not saying I have a hard job. But what I will say is that every FTL episode ends up being, like, 90 minutes long. 45 to 90 minutes, at least. So if you enjoy the episode, here's the deal. I'll keep it in one part, and I'm not, there's no danger that I'm going to split it up. That's more work for me, even though it would be more revenue, obviously, as well. But if you enjoy the episode, show your support. Please click the like button if you enjoy it. And I'm putting that here because I know not all of you are going to be around in 80 minutes when this run ends. All right, so we got 10 scrap and also um, a chain burst laser. So this is basically the weapon that I got. I, I guess I stole this weapon from the other ship. The way that a chain laser works is that um, the more you shoot it, the faster it charges. Is it better than the burst laser? Not yet, because this burst laser actually does uh, three shots compared to this two shot. Mind you, it will start charging faster, but I think the burst laser is a little bit better. For now, at least. But the beauty of it is if we get both of these weapons firing at once. So if we get four weapon power, that would be really, really useful. We could take seven scrap or download their data stores. I think at this point we just want the scrap. Uh, I say that. I'm just going to get one extra bar of weapon power. We're going to get close to getting four bars. Because if we can get this, then we'll be an offensive powerhouse for sure. Um, but uh, I, I really didn't want to fight them. We already have the map of this level. So I didn't think the data stores would really do anything for us. Looks like we have to basically fight the ship here. Or we could run away, but it's better for us to fight the ship. So again, what's our strategy? Keep their weapons offline until we have a chance to actually get their... Um, or get our artillery beam to fire. And what's the next thing we go for? Uh... On our run here. That was... We took hull damage. Their, their weapons are actually kind of nasty here. Pretty well outfitted ship for the first sector. Um, second bar of shields is is non-optional. Uh, it's compulsory. We have to get it. But if we can get four bars of weapons up first, that might... Oh god, I didn't fire. Why wouldn't I fire? Tomo, why wouldn't I fire? Oh, he just left. He's like, I've, I've had enough of your throws, motherfucker. Tomo? You sound like a balloon letting out air, buddy. Oh, here, I'll pull the chair up. You can be my FTL mascot. Oh, he... <laughs> you, you messed up the jump, my fine furry friend. Come here. Tomo's my cat, if in case you were wondering. Uh, there we go. So they tried to escape. Tough luck. Uh, plenty of scrap. I guess we're just going to jump to the exit, because that's going to do it for this sector. Uh, and with, like, 12 more scrap, we would be able to uh, get that next bar of weapon power. So we've got a store. They offered to upgrade your piloting subsystem in exchange for some scrap. Sure, you know what? We'll do it. Gives us a second bar of piloting, which I believe actually only uh, affects dodge chance when we... It gives us like an auto dodge chance, which is not amazing. But, you know, it's cheaper than if we'd paid for it for by ourselves. So generally, I like, uh, I like to take them, them up on their offer. Plus, it gives me upgrades on systems that I often ignore. Piloting, oxygen medbay, etc, etc. And it gives it to me cheaper, which makes it a little bit more palatable to me. So, we're going to intervene to defend the outpost here. They're going to have a beam drone and a beam. This is actually a pretty nasty combination, but I think we'll be able to cut through their shields pretty quickly and take out their, um, take out their beam weapon. And if we do so, then they won't be able to do any damage. Yeah, so that's, that's bad for them. Now all we need to do is basically last long enough for the artillery beam to do some damage to them, and uh, that'll cut them up quite nicely. It doesn't really matter whether we go on the drone or the actual beam that they have, I think, in all honesty. Um, so we have so many different priorities now. The next 25 scrap that we get is going to go to our weapons, so we can have four lasers, sorry, five lasers firing at once, which will seriously tear up 
enemy ships that we have to deal with. Um, but uh, beyond that, we definitely need a second bar of shields after that. Also focusing on dodge chance, or evade chance I should say, but also we want to get our uh, artillery beam charged up as quickly as possible as well. That's fine. So we got more than enough scrap now to uh, get that extra bar of weapon power. So if we depower our engines twice, which people are going to be mad at me about, we can then get our chain laser uh, activated. So this is going to be really nice to have so many different laser shots. We likely won't need to wait as long uh, for the artillery beam. Should we give up four missiles and two drone parts to imp to get our reactor improved? I think that's an okay trade. We'll do that to get our engines back up. Uh, and we do want to get some reactor power before we go for our shields as well, because there's no other power on the ship to draw it from right now anyway. So, um, ooh, this is a, It's a scary looking ship, but the size of a ship in FTL doesn't necessarily matter. We're going to attack the pirate. What do they have? They have a, a few lasers. Probably less than me, though, if I had to guess. So we're going to start by firing on their uh, weapons, and now you'll get to see the effectiveness of the chain laser and watch its, uh, watch its cooldown slowly drop. So they actually missed a shot there, that's going to be really nasty for them. We're going to fire our chain laser on their shields, and you can actually see like the visual indicator of how quickly it's charging there. Um, so it's plus one, I think the maximum it can get to is plus three. So we've hurt their shields a little bit, chain laser will send on their weapons because they're going to start charging again. Good hit! And uh, now we'll send burst laser on their shields just to keep them low. We're at plus two on chain laser. Artillery beam is about to be charged. This is a pretty easy fight here, all things considered. That was a really good shot. And now the artillery beam is probably going to finish our job for us. Uh, yeah, they're trying to escape. That's, you know, tough luck for you, basically. Because that artillery beam is doing work. Plenty of scrap. And uh, a little bit more on the resource side as well. So there's another bar of reactor power. So we did that. So now I can kind of upgrade shields guilt-free. And we'll take the power from the engines as necessary, but then upgrade our reactor again. Because the second bar of shields, I think, is more important than an extra 10% dodge chance, but I might be wrong. Um, but then we can always just put it back in. You find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Yes, yeah, send our rock crew member in. He tears through the airlock directly into the fire. You've never seen someone that large move that fast. It disperses as much fire suppressant as possible into the heart of the blaze, and eventually they die down. Contact the survivors. We got a drone recovery arm and 31 scrap. So 31 scrap is amazing. And we'll get that second bar of shields up with the uh, rewards there. What is the drone recovery arm? Non-destroyed drones will be retrieved when jumping, allowing their parts to be reused. That is super useful. We have a drone. We might want to sell that at a store in the future. But for now, we're just basically collecting as much scrap as possible. Reactor power is our next upgrade, and then maybe we'll go back to the artillery beam. Um, we need some fuel. Uh, I should probably get some scrap, go to the store, and buy a fuel, is my guess, but do we have some combat here? Uh, we'll attempt to follow and help them. It's a Federation ship hiding in the nebula, and now we have to fight, which is honestly what I was hoping for. So, they do have a drone. Please don't be a boarding drone. We should also get a second level of doors. I always forget about that. Not always, but I always, like, make it lower priority than it should be. It's super important when you get boarded, and we are going to start to get boarded an awful lot very soon, so... Um, I, I didn't mean to fire on their weapons there. I meant to fire on shields, but that's okay. The thing is, you, you constantly want to keep uh, your, your chain laser firing, because every time you don't fire it, that it makes it take longer to actually get to the point where it um, is getting like as many charges as it can, as quickly as it can. And right now, we're offensively at least a sector or two ahead of where we should be, if that makes sense. We're a sector or two ahead of our... Um, this is as, as fast as it'll charge now, by the way. We're a sector or two ahead of... Um, the enemies that we're facing, which is great. It's awesome, actually. Um, and it's going to make our life very easy. They're going to offer to surrender, but we're not going to accept. And uh, pretty sure this will end it right here because their engines have been damaged and their piloting system's offline. Good news! Uh, 18 scrap. We got no fuel. We could have really used that fuel. But instead, now we can't. Uh, this is going to cost us two fuel to go to this store. So hopefully we're able to buy a lot. Sorry, I had to decongest myself there. Oh, Tomo! Tomo, don't step on the keyboard, buddy. Just go back to the tangerine box you called a bed. There we go. So we, we got as much fuel as we can. We don't need to fix up. You know what? For now, um, scrap in hand is better than a drone in the bush. So I am going to sell uh, our anti-drone unit for 17 scrap. We can't buy anything. I would love to pick up another crew member, but this is fine. We'll just take our scrap and go. Uh, okay, Tomo, where are you going here, my friend? In On top of the... Yeah, put your foot in the coffee cup. He didn't actually put his foot in the coffee cup. It just looked like he was going to. Don't worry. You can't talk about animals on YouTube 
without a lot of people being, you know, fair fair warning. Animal abuse is, of course, a, a, a trigger for a lot of people to get very angry, but we, we treat our animals very well, except for now, because he's in front of the monitor. Tomo, let's get, come down here, my friend. There we go. Wonderful. He'll fall asleep in 10 seconds. This is a oh man, I can never have kids or it's going to ruin my Let's Play career. All right, so we're fighting. They have uh, a defense, two defense drones, actually. We may want to counter that by firing both lasers in at the same time, but the cooldown timers don't really coordinate there. Okay, so they actually don't block any laser shots, so that's the only thing that really matters to me is whether or not they did that. Um, since they don't block the actual laser shots from coming in, it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. We can just uh, focus on taking out their shields. After that, we'll do the standard priority. Uh, shields, engines, uh, weapons, obviously priority number one, so we don't get destroyed. Oh my god, Tomo, it's okay, my friend. Come here. Get in the box. Yeah, I mean, that sounded a little bit, a little fritzelish, didn't it? Get in the box. Here comes the artillery beam. Thank you for doing what I could not, artillery beam. And uh, we should be finished the fight right now, which is awesome. Uh, we picked up 19 scrap. Is that enough to get our next level? You know what? We can't actually get anything here anyway. We need to wait until we're not in an asteroid field, which makes a lot of sense. I wonder if we can do like da, 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 and get to the exit. I don't really want to go to the store. It might be a little risky, but I'm going to try it anyway, and we'll see if this works. Ooh, that's bad. So our reactor power is halved. Um, you jump into a sector of a nebula beset by a plasma storm. An automated rebel scout station in the beacon moves into attack. We can fight or attempt to outrun it. We're going to try to outrun it. You successfully lose the ship in the storm. Okay, that's really useful. We have no engine power. Let's change that. I know we we can't disable oxygen. There we go. We disabled oxygen just long enough to jump out. Actually, we are going to upgrade our, our, our doors while we're here. There we go. Now we're going to jump out. And we're going to jump to this nebula, which hopefully does not have a plasma storm. Uh, no. That's good. So we are going to have to fight, though. They have a boarding uh, dro or boarding system, which scares the crap out of me. Uh, we actually need to take one away from that, and there we go. And that that's basically the setup that we want here, so that's good. Okay. Now, they have a missile launcher. Apart from the missile launcher, they don't have anything. I'm really glad, though, that I used uh, some scrap to upgrade my boarding system. Otherwise, we would have some serious issues here. So how do we... Tomo, it's okay, man. What's wrong? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to do math here, Tomo, sort of. Not really math. You know, basic arithmetic at, at worst. Uh, the airlocks are so far away from the door that, he's, that the Mantis is actually in. So what I'm thinking... Oh my god. Tomo just jumped back up here. That's fine. As long as you don't hit the Fraps hotkey, in which case I will sell you for a six-pack of the worst beer I can find. Uh, so I'm going to try to drain the air like so. Whether or not that works is going to be interesting to see. They only have one bar of shield, so we should be able to take out their weapons pretty soon. The missile is obviously a real concern. As long as we shoot before it lands, even if it lands on weapons. It landed on a, a dead subsystem. A subsystem with nothing on it, so that's fine. Oh, you know what? We upgraded artillery, but we'll take one away from engines, put it in there. Alright, the, the Mantis is attacking our shields. Is he gonna get that first bar? No, he's decided to, to turn and fight. Um, which is probably a good idea. Let's go in on, on the enemy engines quickly, and we're gonna do this so that they can't get away. And they've stopped, um, they, they've taken away their border, which is good. Now we're gonna go on their piloting system, so they have absolutely zero dodge chance. And the artillery beam is not gonna be necessary, but um, they're dead. That's what they get, basically. Right, Tomo? Tomo's the mascot of this run. He's gonna give me the strength necessary to survive. So we have 29 scrap. Uh, more reactor power is not bad. That's kind of actually the next thing that we should be focused on is the, either reactor power or maybe getting a third bar of our artillery beam. Allow me to recaffeinate for a second here. This is a very high maintenance, vi high maintenance video today. Hmm. It's a little hot, but it's pretty good as well. Um, rock controlled or abandoned? Let's go to the rock controlled sector. Maybe we'll have some events that our rock crew member can help us with. Maybe not, though. Um, let's jump around like a House of Pain. Crowded House? House of Pain. House of Pain song. Not Tyler Perry style, though. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, this is a little bit overkill for our third sector here. We have a, um, a ship with a bomb, a missile launcher that looks like it shoots two missiles, and a laser on top of it. But 
Oh, we took out their missile launcher just as it was about to fire, and uh, I think their bomb actually missed. So right now they only have a laser active, but we're gonna still try to take out their weapons completely first, because if we can just like completely neuter them offensively, oh come on, where's that bomb going? It did blow up in our engine room. Our Mantis will fix it, but Mantis sucks. So we'll send the engineer, who's like just freelancing right now, I guess, in to help. Okay, that's really good. Chain laser is now charging faster than our burst laser, which is what I was hoping for. Really, this is what we were waiting for. The artillery beam to come in and just absolutely ruin the enemy day. They have a much lower dodge chance. They want to surrender, and they're going to give us seven missiles. I'm going to take it. They're probably going to die anyway. That's the most important part. Seven missiles is awesome uh, to give me an extra chance to... Um... You know what? Let's take a second here to just medbay up. You stay here. You stay here. Um... But yeah, seven missiles is important, maybe for trades, or maybe we do get a missile launcher later. Uh, and there was no nothing else that I really wanted instead of it, so I thought this was an okay decision. I may or may not be correct. Uh, we're, we're really low on fuel, and this happens a lot with these um, human ships, it seems. I don't know why. Probably my own fault, let's be honest. We'll jump to this one, then we'll jump to the store so we can buy as much fuel as possible. Asteroid field. Probably worse for the enemy than it is for me. Actually turns out not to be the case. They have a really nasty uh, suite of weapons here, but hopefully my laser can get in and fire like as their missile launcher is firing. No, their missile fires way before us. Uh, it hit an empty subsystem. I don't know why as uh, the enemy you would ever fire at an empty subsystem. So be it though. We're still firing our chain laser even though they have two bars of shields and the reason behind that was that um, maybe an asteroid would come in and, and finish the job for us. It's okay. They only have their missile launcher up, but the missile launcher is a real pain in the butt. We didn't do anything there. Oh, the asteroid actually did get in and do some hull damage at least. I don't know why they're so enamored with this like empty subsystem here, but whatever. The other reason we're firing chain laser, and it should be obvious, but um, is that uh, it... Ooh, what's going on? It holds at 75%, that's fine. Uh, the other reason we're firing our chain laser is that the cooldown goes down, obviously. And they're going to surrender and give us some fuel, so we're going to accept it. That's fine. Not the ideal fight there, that was a little bit dangerous, but we made it. And we still need to buy fuel, so I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to spend any of the scrap yet. So we'll just jump to the store. And 36 fuel should give me, or sorry, 36 scrap should give me like 10 fuel if they have it. They only have four, we'll buy all four. Do we have anything to sell? No. Um, what else do we want to buy? With 24 scrap? Jack shit, basically. Uh, automated reloader's pretty good. What we really want, obviously, is the weapon pre-igniter, which allows you to enter a fight with your weapons charged. It's so overpowered. Um, we don't need to heal either. I would say we can just leave. We should probably repair our engines first. I should have done that before we left the, the earlier sector, but that's okay. Mantis, it's good to get him some repair skill, because otherwise his repair skill is really, really bad. There we go. And you can see how this artillery beam really turns the fight in our favor, especially if it fires quickly. So if we could just get it to fire as quickly as possible, that would be wonderful. But for now, we don't really have a choice in the matter. Um, we, we don't have enough scrap to even entertain that thought. They only have one bar of shields, but they do have cloaking. But that doesn't cloak you from asteroids, apparently. Um, so, one bar of cloaking is not really that big of a deal anyway. I imagine with combined with the lasers and the... Oh, where's the missile coming? That's fine. Empty subsist... Or empty hull rooms again. Um, combined with the asteroids, we should be able to do a ton of damage here. Yeah, as a result of our lasers and everything else. They missed with their uh, wonderful attack there, so they're going to cloak. We shouldn't fire until they come back. Luckily, we didn't fire, because if, if they cloak as we fire, then we have like a plus 60% chance to miss, which obviously isn't going to do too much for us. Um, sure, asteroids tearing, tearing them up uh, quite nicely, but their missile did get a chance to fire. Did not, I guess. Okay. Asteroid took him out before the artillery beam even had a chance to fire, but we should still get another level of artillery beam. We'll jump to this distress beacon. Again, offensively, we are much stronger than any of the units that we're going to come up against, so uh, that's useful. We'll use a beam weapon to carefully cut the ship out of the asteroid belt situation. They give us a lot of scrap and a decent amount of fuel as a result. That is, in my eyes, another bar of um, artillery power. Again, this is kind of a passive... Usually you want to be able to control where your weapons land and what they do, but I do think that having, uh, it, it, at this point it's already charging almost twice as fast as it used to, so uh, this will make the difference for us in a lot of fights. I, I don't even feel the need to qu uh, qualify that by saying it might make the difference. I really think that it will make the difference for us in a lot of fights. Uh, 
And I wonder if we could actually put someone in the artillery room and have them charge it faster, but I don't know if that would actually be worth our time. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, for now, they only have a beam weapon available. That's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything for them anyway. We'll just take their shields out and then Chain Laser can do some more good work. And I feel like Chain Laser is not that good compared to Burst Laser. Unless we had like, if we had two of them, then I feel like it could really do quite a number on them. But whatever. We're, we're still obviously going to get through this fight super quickly and uh, they can't really do anything. So I'm actually going to focus on the engines just so they have no chance to escape. And I don't know why I shot on their door system, but uh, certainly they're not going to be able to have any privacy as they explode here. Gonna get some more reactor power, and uh, getting that reactor power is basically an extra 5% dodge chance, so that's pretty nice. I feel like we're in an okay position right now, doing pretty okay. Okay, this is nothing. Fuel is the big sore spot for us right now. Six fuel, 29 missiles, and this is kind of the situation we ended up in on the last run. I would really love to find another missile launcher, but um, hail to see them, hail them to see what's wrong. We'll pay off the rock debt. That usually means that they upgrade something for us, like upgrade our reactor. Um, yeah, they upgraded our reactor by one. That's good. That means we can now uh, afford to maybe go for this third bar of shields, or just cash out pretty quickly with another bar of engine power, and then this will give us uh, like a 34% dodge chance. One in three. It's not so bad. Sensors are actually working here, so they have a rock man that has gotten onto the ship. They do need oxygen, so this will still mess with them quite substantially uh, to, to get the oxygen out. But they might be able to destroy one level of doors. It appears that's not going to be the case, actually. Okay, take out the weapons. We took out one weapon, but they're still going to have a bomb ready to go. Uh, it, it went off in our O2 system, which is actually pretty dangerous. So we're going to send our NG in there to fix the O2 system before we really run into trouble, especially since we have open doors. If they want to kill our med bay, like by all means, basically, no big deal. Uh, artillery beam's about to fire. They have a couple lasers ready to go. I don't know if they'll be able to do enough damage. They want to surrender. We're not going to accept it because we really, really don't need missiles at this point. Uh, that could do it. It's pretty close anyway. Come on, Rockman. You're really going to take out a bar of shields like as we're about to finish your family off? That'll do it. Oh, that didn't do it? Are you kidding me? That's nuts. Well, anyway, we'll um, close up here, let the oxygen replenish, and that's a lot of scrap. So, I should be able to pick up another bar of engine power, and there we go. 34% dodge chance. I can live with that for now. That's pretty good. You're going to go back to shields. We're going to save. Yes, we could med base some people, but that's okay. And we really don't have any other choice than to go to the exit right here. Third bar of shields is probably the next thing I'm going to focus on. Hmm. The rebels in the system are doing supply runs for the local space stations. The civilians have likely been out of supply for months due to the war and are in desperate need. We can attack the rebels, wait and steal supplies from the civilians. It just said they've been out of supply. Or leave them be. Let's attack the rebels. We're good guys here. Oh, they have a... That's a boarding drone. So that scares the shit out of me. But a mantis should be able to make short work of it. Let's put... Uh, let's attack the weapons. Where are you going? Where are you going? Bad place. Um, let's... Uh, let's send one of our lasers to attack the weapons. And the other one, oh, you caused a breach too? You you sly devil. The other one we will use to attack the um, uh, the drone control unit. My thinking being, oh god, the mantis is stunned and there's no oxygen in there. That, I was not even thinking about that. Oh my god, get on stun, get on stun, get on, oh, get out of there. Just run. Okay, you're going to live, much to my surprise. Um, you're going to live for now at least. And again, we've got to disable that drone. Obviously, we have to get our shields fucking repaired as well. Um, wow. Okay, you need to hide, man. This mantis, more like, but you get the idea. Is the drone disabled? It looks like it is. Medbay has no oxygen. Tomo just put his paw on my hand to be like, sleep now. It's okay. Uh, so we need to get this repair done as soon as possible. Mantis is not in a good... He's stunned! Oh my god, okay. But the artillery beam is going to fire. From a combat standpoint, we're going to win this. I just worry that we're going to be so neutered that we won't be able to do anything about our win as a result. Uh, no, don't kill the drone! The drone's meaningless. Okay, steal the civilian supplies, two damage to our hull. Pause, pause, pause. You need to get out of here. Um, the human... NG, run to this oxygen room, repair the shit out of it. Human, help. Mantis, don't fucking touch anything. I think... We're going to be fine. I think everybody's going to live. God. It's going to work. Oh my god. Okay. Get into the med bay. Wait for the oxygen to replenish. So that could have gone better. 
Uh, we still need to do some repairs, obviously. It could have gone better, but it certainly, certainly could have gone worse as well. That was uh, a very nearly completely cataclysmic situation. Cataclysmic, catastrophic, I never know which one to use in, in each proper situation. Um, okay, so we're going to send uh, everybody back to their normal positions. Except for Bomfy M, who, you know, I, I really value the NGs as maybe the most valuable of all the, the classes in the game. Because they their repair sister the repair skill is so so important. I'm just taking a second to recaffeinate here while we go through some passive med bay healing. And that was good. Uh, we we got out of it at least. We didn't get very much. Kind of botched the last part of that sector, but at least or the last part of that encounter. But at least we're moving on to sector four. Third bar of shields is now my number one priority. Uh, and that's that's about it. More weaponry wouldn't be so bad either. But really, like, instead of getting more weaponry, I would just love to get cloaking so that our uh, artillery beam charged up fast enough to help us out here. So, what do they have here? I can't really see. They have a laser, they have a beam, and a bomb. We could hire them to scout the sector, we could hire them to delay the rebels, or we could fight them. Uh, I'm gonna hire them to delay the rebels, and this might seem like maybe not a waste of money, but like dubious use of money. But, this gives me maybe two or three more sectors I can visit, which is probably going to be worth way more than 11 uh, scrap. So, we got 33 scrap just for cutting these people out of their um, asteroid prison, as uh, we often do. We are going to go to nebulas, because uh, that's going to give us the most, the highest like density or concentration of, uh, of uh, beacons that we can go to. Heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. That's fine. We're going to uh, attempt to follow them. We got... Oh, we got a, another unit. And she's good at engines and weapons. Unfortunately, uh, those are already spoken for. But you might be better. So let's take a look here. We got Kara. She's really good at engines. She's really good at weapons. She's better. You know, our Mantis is like almost as good already. But I think I'm going to use the NG in, the, in this room. And our Mantis will man the artillery room. That doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, our Mantis will man the door system, which will give them a third level automatically. Yes. Or the sensor system, which will give them a second bar automatically. Is that correct? Maybe not. Okay, so go to the door system. Uh, and our Mantis is basically now just going to be a roving fighter to delay enemies when they come onto the ship. That's my thinking, at least. So, nebulas are dangerous, yes, but we have to. I should really buy some more fuel. We're going to use uh, our engines to attempt to outrun it. And we lost our, the ship that was chasing us in the storm. Well, we have to come down here, even if we have to backtrack. Uh, this is so we can buy fuel later. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. Okay, it's it's powering up its FTL drive to uh, to to tell the enemies. Uh, why is like half of our power not even allocated here? That's weird. There we go. That's That's exactly the way we want it. Where are you going to hack? This is an important moment here. Med Bay. All right. Sometimes the AI is not very good, but it doesn't really matter because the game's still really hard. So our Med Bay is going to suffer from some inability to work for us, basically. They've got a lot of nasty weapons here. A bomb, ions, and, uh, and a missile launcher. It's kind of overkill. I don't think we're going to be able to stop them from getting away. I'm going to fire on their engines to try to make it happen, though. Hey, we might delay them a little bit. Really, uh, the, the thing is, if the... If the artillery beam hits them, we might have a chance. But I don't think it will. Oh, uh, it did! Okay, we actually got an achievement there. I, I guess it's for hitting, like, probably all of the uh, enemy rooms in one beam. We didn't really do it, but I appreciate it nonetheless, I guess. Come on, enemy ship. Enemy hey, there we go. Weapons are down except for the ion. I don't really worry about the hacking system here. We got out of it. Much to my surprise. That was a little scary, but we made it work. Got some extra fuel. Uh, yeah... We can still hit some new uh, some new beacons on the way out here, but we definitely need to buy some more fuel. Probably should heal a little bit. What do we have? We have cloaking. We, there's no way we're going to get enough uh, enough to buy it. Ion Blast only costs us one, but it's also pretty bad at this point. It shoots five lasers for four power. Right now, we already shoot five lasers for four power. I don't think burst... I mean, if we could get this in addition to what we already have, it would, it would be amazing. But for now, I don't think that's going to be worth too much. We don't really have... We can't have anything to sell. Or we could sell our drone recovery arm for 25, but... We might want drones eventually? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll keep it for now, just in case. 
Let's heal up. Let's buy all their fuel. And then what do we have? 42. We could buy Ion Blast. But uh, it doesn't scale well into the late game. We could buy Repair Burst. Uses a missile. Um, floods a room with nanobots capable of completely repairing all system damage. Only requires one power. We have so many missiles. Fuck it, right? I'll give it a try. I've never used it before. I've always written it off as shitty. We'll see if that is indeed the case. It may or may not be. Obviously, it's going to be a very situational weapon, so I'm not too worried about... Um, you know what? We'll just get to the exit. Even though there's so... There's only one beacon that can actually get to the exit. That's why I think we should just go to the exit right now. Really need to get this third bar of shields up, though, or, or our uh, lifespan is going to run out pretty quickly. So, this is just us going to the next sector here. Kind of a shitty layout, but... Sector 5 without three bars of shields is really scary. But what I was going to say is we're not going to focus on getting another bar of weapon power. Because we don't need to have Repair Bomb active at all times, I think. We'll see, though. I may be mistaken in that. We really need to upgrade some more, though. We're much worse off than we were last time. Mind you, we were on easy last time. But mind you, we were on easy last time. So if, the, if we were in a better position, we even had worse competition. Um, okay, so you're escaping. This is, uh, again, trying to warn the Rebel fleet. They have a missile launcher and ions and a beam drone. Not the end of the world. Hopefully, they have, they only take out one bar of shields. But they did cause some issue here with the oxygen and their missile launcher. Got to take out their shields. Again, you know, kind of similar to the last fight. What's the worst? What's the worst case scenario here? They do a lot of damage, so that's why I'm going after weapons first. What's the second worst case scenario? They get away. Um. What's the third worst case scenario? That or a good case scenario? We we find them and and stop them. So artillery beam is going to fire. This is important. Good. It it did some damage. Uh, I'm going to wait here for a second. On I'm, I'm going to wait on burst laser to fire it until chain laser is ready, and then we're going to take five shots in all at once. They might still get away from this, but at least we took out their missile launcher. Okay, engines come next. Ah, fuck it. I knew it was going to happen, but. So be it. Fleet Pursuit doubled for one jump. That's kind of scary. Obviously, we have to repair the oxygen room. We also should repair this breach out here. That's fine. Oxygen's back up. Get into the med bay. Heal yourself up a little bit. This is not going fantastically. We did get an achievement, though, so at least it wasn't a completely wasted run. You know what I would love in addition to... Um, you know, the, the, the FTL Advanced Edition already does some great stuff. But I would love... Excuse me. Get in here, please. Oh, my God. Take your fucking time. I would also love a, uh, a button that was just like all injured units to the med bay. In addition to like saving the layout of, uh, of our units here. It's okay though. We're fine for now. Heal up a little bit. We can take our time. I don't think this run's going to go very far. <laughs> I don't think it's going to go very far at all to be honest with you. But we're, we're doing our best here. Everyone back to... Oh wait. You're not supposed to be there. You're supposed to be in the door room. Uh, I need to save the layout again, but it's going to take forever for this to happen. So yes, uh, one of those, there's a room without any oxygen in it. It's not really that big of a deal. No oxygen, no big deal. Kind of a, a big shot like that. Okay, so this is a, got to internalize what the name of this thing is. It is a pulsar. Periodic waves will disrupt shields and drones. That seems real scary. That's a really bad room for these guys to invade on for their own sake. For me, it's wonderful. Now, uh, how do we get around this? Three bars of shields is a really nasty ship for only the fifth sector, but I guess, you know, I, I did get acclimated a little bit too much to easy. We have five shots here, so we're going to use all of them at once on the weapons. Shields are completely down, and we didn't take out their weapons. So that strikes me as a very bad time. Might want to send our... Now, you know what? Mantis, you get into the med bay, and we're going to heal uh, the med bay up and then power it up as well. We have no weapons active. Oh, that's wonderful. Do they have an ion weapon that hit us? Are we actually going to die? Well, it certainly makes up for the last episode being super long, but I didn't want it to go like this. And they're completely going to be able to deactivate our doors, aren't they? So maybe I... Oh, yes. Close all doors? We can't. Uh, maybe Engineer goes into the, the door room quickly and heals the shit out of it? I don't know. This is a dangerous one. Um, I know, Tomo. It's really scary. I know. It's dangerous. Yeah, it's okay, buddy. Don't worry about it. Here comes the artillery cannon. That did a lot for us. We might be able to kill them from the inside out. So I wanted to get the door system repaired ASAP. That's good enough. Just enough to close doors. Um, and our mantis is still alive. 
You should get into the medbay. Mantis in the Med Bay, of course, my favorite movie from the, the 90s. Uh, we need to get the oxygen fixed. So we're going to send our... or We need to get the fire out first. So we'll send that guy in here. Our shields are going to go down. All we really need is another artillery beam, but one more shot could kill us. Wow, okay, well... It's 40 minutes. It's Isaac run worthy, but... Uh, I'm sorry that we didn't do better. The score is pretty bad there. At least it was our second best score ever with the cultural mosaic. That is actually kind of sad, although I've apparently only done four runs with it total. Um, as always, thanks for watching. I apologize for this episode being a lot shorter, but we'll mess around with another ship next time. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.